is AI Grading Star ECR Student Responses. Hi, I'm Angela, the teacher behind Custom Classroom by Angela, and today I'll be addressing this hot topic that has sparked many questions about how the STAR ECR is graded. First things first, let's clarify that the responses for the ECR or the Extended Constructed Response grading are not solely AI-based. Instead, they undergo a hybrid grading process using a system called ASE, or Automated Scoring Engine. This system isn't a direct replica of AI, but rather a sophisticated computer scoring system. Starting in 2024, the ECR responses submitted by students will be processed through the ASE model. If the ASE competently assigns a score to the response, the score becomes official record. However, if the AAS expresses low confidence, the response is then forwarded to a human rater for evaluation. To ensure this system's accuracy, a random sampling of 25% of students' responses will be sent to human raters. This quality check ensures that the system is scoring correctly and helps identify any necessary adjustments. On a side note, student responses to the SCR and ECR questions for STAR Spanish are 100% human scored and are not scored in this system. The scoring of the STAR constructed response, whether by human or this new ASE system, is based directly on the released rubrics from TEA. It's essential to grasp that the scoring considered the response as a whole, not just specific elements. So let's addra address those specific elements. Some misconceptions have arised that there could be an automatic zero. For example, not starting with a thesis statement. This will not result in an automatic zero. In reality, the responses are evaluated holistically based on the rubrics criteria. Now let's get into a little bit more detail about the five-step system that was used to develop this new scoring system for the STAR constructed response. In the beginning, step one, an anchor approval meeting happened where a group of student responses were scored using the TEA approved rubrics to establish scoring boundaries. These anchor responses exemplify each score point and are identified during meetings. And these items set for practice and qualification are created based on the responses. Next, there was training for human scores and the new ASE system. Human scores and the automated scoring engine were trained using TEA approved student responses. The scores go through a process of studying the anchor responses, practicing scoring, and demonstrating an understanding through qualification sets. The ASE is trained to emulate human scoring based on the field test data. Third, their scoring. All the constructed response questions for the English version of STAR are going to be scored using this model of the ASE hybrid with human scores. A subset of the responses will be routed to human scoring for a second opinion, especially any that have conditional codes or low confidence scores from the ASE. Fourth, will be the reporting. The results from the STAR administrations are reported to the districts, including student scores and performance levels. Item level reports will provide details on points earned, earned for each question. And finally, the option of rescores. District person, personnel or guardians can request a rescore of a student's response for a fee. Rescores are conducted by human scores, and if the score changes, the fee is waived. This structured approach ensures consistency and fairness in scoring student responses on the STAR exam. 
In conclusion, understanding and the connection between the human and computer-based grading on the STAR test is vital for educators, parents, and students alike. So remember, knowledge is power and clarity leads to confidence. Thank you for joining us today and don't forget to check out our other STAR videos.